what if I forced you to choose one tag to use for studying sharks the rest of your career? Well, I think that question is inherently flawed because... It's not meant to be an easy one. Yeah, I, I, I think I say that question is inherently flawed because, remember, it's a tool. It's like saying if you can only build a house with one tool, which one would you use? You can't build a house with just one tool. You know, maybe if you said, listen, you're gonna, you, you want to, you know, fix this thing to the wall or put in this door, I might choose hammer. But it really depends on the question. And if depends I was, on the question. It depends on the question. So if I was using the one tag for the rest of, uh, let's say, for a long period of time, then it'd be mean that I'd be doing the same question. Unless I was using the same tool, you can use a hammer for multiple things. That said, I do, I'm interested in the movement ecology of these sharks, particularly uh, their habitat use, their habitat preferences, and how that relates to their use of marine protected areas. You know, determining some of these hot spots and where they might use to feed or migrate, uh, you know, migration routes, feeding spots, reproductive areas, how they relate to where marine protected areas are. And for that right now, you know, spot tag, fin mount spot tag is the best tool that's available for that. But the technology is always advancing as well, and it's advancing rapidly. So saying if you can only use one type of tag would be really ineffective because I'm hoping that I can use a different type of tag as time goes on that's going to be more effective and, and better engineered to have be better for animal welfare and give you better data.